Hi guys, and welcome to my channel and to a video that, once again, I cannot quite believe that I am making. As you can probably tell from the title, yes, this is once again a another Rolex watch collection video from the authorised dealer. To be truthfully honest, I never thought I would ever get a call again, if I'm honest, because I aren't somebody special. I just assumed that I got extremely lucky the first time that they called and that that experience would be a once in a lifetime and that I would never uh, have the opportunity to to buy another Rolex direct from the authorised dealer. That is not the case. On the bank holiday that's just passed, I received a call from my authorised dealer and they've offered me an extremely special watch, a watch that I have loved for such a long time. As you can tell from the headline, you know what that watch is. However, I'm not going to say too much in this video. I'm going to save it for the reveal when I go collect the watch later today. So I'm in complete shock. If the camera's shaking, it's because I'm that excited, I can't wait to go and get it. So I'm just gonna finish, finish up a couple more jobs as I say, and then I'm gonna make my way to the authorized dealer and go buy the watch. I'll be bringing you guys along with me. Um, I am going to make a follow-up video very soon explaining sort of my watch buying process, how I was able to be offered these watches from the authorized dealer, as I think it will help put some people's minds at rest that, 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 that these pieces are completely unobtainable. You know, a year and a half ago, I didn't own any Rolex and I was like everybody else watching every video on YouTube on how to get a watch from an authorised dealer, not wanting to pay the ridiculous grey market prices um, and to be honest thought it would just never happen and it has a number of times um, and I, I'll, I'll hopefully go into a little bit more detail on the next video. So I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you enjoy the watch as much as I'm sure I will and we'll get into the video now. Cheers. P.S. Totally separate, but I'm sorry if my hair is a complete mess. I haven't had an haircut for months since getting the hair transplant, which you can see on my previous videos. I've kind of just liked the idea of growing it out. It does look scruffy, and I'm sorry. If you hate it, I'll put a hat on in the next video because I definitely need a cut. Yeah. So, guys, it was time to go and collect the watch, and as you can see, I'm in the stunning city of York. The sun was shining, the sky was blue, but today was all about the watch. So I made my way over to the authorised dealer to go and collect my brand new, drum roll please. That's right, it's another GMT Master 2. This time it's the root beer, reference number 126711CHNR. Truly a holy grail piece. One that I, in a million years, never thought I would be buying or obtaining. So firstly, I would like to say a massive thank you to all the ladies at Mapping and Web of York. You guys know who you are. I know you'll be watching this video. I just want to say thank you so much for making this dream a reality. Thank you for letting me purchase this piece. It's truly an amazing watch, one that I will cherish for such a long time and can't wait to get wearing out and about and having some fabulous conversations with people who also share the passion for watch collecting. So the team sized up the watch for me. Once the watch was sized up, the sales representative kindly slid the watch on my wrist for the first time. And here's the first wrist roll of me wearing the brand new GMT Master 2. And guys, how stunning does this timepiece look? This truly is one of the most incredible watches I have ever seen. Now, whilst it looks amazing on this video. I cannot explain to you how good it looks in person and how under-justified this video makes it feel. The Everose Gold, the Oyster Steel, all just work so perfectly with that black and brown bezel. So it was time to take the watch home and again the team was so kind in allowing the security guard to walk me back to my car to ensure that the uh, that the watch got back uh, obviously to my car safely which was again really appreciated. Thank you so much for, for doing that for me. So guys, now the watch was back home and in my safekeeping, it was time to do an unboxing for you guys and show you all the contents of the box and then also the GMT Master 2 in all of its glory with some 4K wrist rolls and beautiful shots of the watch. So as you can see, um, the all these watches come in a very standard Rolex box. They don't differ from watch to watch other than on some of the more uh, premium watches such as the Platinum Editions. They come in a slightly bigger version of the box. Um, it comes in the cream sort of cardboard casing and then the green box is presented to you on the inside. Again, exactly the same as my Datejust box, exactly the same as my other GMT Master 2, so nothing special there. 
Some people sort of say that Rolex are falling behind on the box manufacturing and the presentation. However, I have obviously had a Speedmaster, which you've seen in my previous videos. Their boxes are presented brilliantly. But after that initial opening, to be honest, I never looked at it again. So it maybe is just a waste of resources to uh, create these beautiful boxes that, again, you never even look at after, one, after you've bought the watch. So let's take the watch out of its box and take a good look at that stunning two-tone bezel in brown and black. As you guys know, this is a GMT, so it has 24-hour markers um, around the bezel. These are so that you can track two time zones, one of your native country and a second of the country that you are, are travelling to. to. This tracks them simultaneously, so you, with one look at the watch, you'll be able to tell, obviously, your home time and then your travel destination time as well. So the bezel itself is obviously a ceramic um, mould, which basically means that the um, bezel is extremely robust, isn't prone to scratches, is very, very difficult to damage, which is fantastic, especially if you're someone like me who wears my watches a lot. However, uh, the ceramic bezel is, is very, very tough, and obviously you won't have any issues with that. Um, the watch is also waterproof to 100 metres, so that means you have no issues with swimming or going in the sea with it, not like I'd recommend jumping into something salt water with the watch however if you did decide to go ahead and do that the watch would be absolutely fine probably just recommend that you clean it down afterwards to make sure you get rid of all the salt particles so that it doesn't scratch the watch once it's set the watch is the watch's movement is a mechanical self-wind in gmt and the caliber is a 3285 which is manufactured in-house by rolex which has a precision to minus two plus two seconds a day um, which is absolutely fantastic um, it has a power reserve of 70 hours which is absolutely massive one of the things that i noticed with the amiga um having um i think it's a 30 hour power reserve was that i was constantly having to wind the watch when i didn't wear it it, it became annoying um winding the watch however you don't have the issue with the gmt master 2 as within 70 hours as long as you put that watch back on your wrist um that watch will keep ticking and won't lose time so going into obviously the materials and the bracelet um, the bracelet is obviously an oyster. Uh, the back girl that I had was a Jubilee. Um, this is a flat three piece link, which is in ever rose gold and obviously oyster steel. And then the clasp on the watch is also the oyster locking safety clasp with an easy link five millimeter comfort extension link, which basically means that if you have, like me, um, are, are prone to your wrist getting bigger when it's hotter, um, you can actually adjust the watch by five millimeters using an easy link without having to um, add or remove links from the watch, which is a fantastic function. I, I do use it quite frequently as the, as the temperatures change. And then the safety clasp, obviously that just provides an extra layer of security so that the watch doesn't fall off your wrist or doesn't get snatched off your wrist by, um, by thieves or opportunists. So, um, guys, as I said, I cannot believe that I have picked up this watch. I think it's the most stunning watch in my collection. That, that Ever Rose Gold and the Oyster Steel all just work in perfect harmony. Um, I am going to now do some high quality wrist rolls in the garden so you can see what it looks like when the sun hits that stunning two tone bezel. Um, but as I said, I'm going to catch up with you guys with another video very, very soon about my. Um, process of getting the watches and obviously my dealings with the authorized dealer that will hopefully put some of you guys minds at ease about obtaining these pieces directly from the authorized dealer and not having to pay um obviously the gray market prices which are completely ridiculous and just overinflated by all of these gray market dealers if you do have any questions uh please just leave them in the comments box however if you can leave me a like maybe subscribe and even better if you can just leave me a comment about the watch that'd be fantastic i love striking conversation with people on my channel um, i hope you all have a wonderful day i hope you all obtain the watches that you wish to acquire this year in 2022 and thank you so much for watching uh, my videos I'm, I'm so pleased with the success of them and that's down to you guys um, obviously enjoying uh, the the content that i've put out so yeah thank you so much and we will catch you in the next video cheers